hey guys today we are doing a wig install many of you have been asking me destiny how do you install your wigs well i'm about to show you how are you ready are you ready okay so what i just did so far was just I'm using the Style Booster Edge Control to slick my edges back so I don't get any glue in my edges because we want to keep those, okay? Yes, ladies, protect your edges. And then I'm about to use some rubbing alcohol just to clean off the area where I'm going to apply the glue. If you don't clean off the area, then the glue is not going to stick. You can't put glue on top of oils so you have to you must you must you must clean off your skin here you can see me just putting a wig cap on i ordered these wig caps um from amazon i got 20 of them 10 in this tan, light tan and then 10 in like the, a darker color and I think it was about $10 for 20 of them and you can really just get them from any hair store they sell them everywhere right here you guys can see me just cutting my ears out and this will just help for the cap to lay flatter so you can get the glue really stuck in that area by the ear and the area by the ear is the hardest part to get stuck down but if you do this step don't skip this step guys because it's very useful to make your life easier so right now i'm about to take the got to be glued hair free spray whatever it's called and I'm just putting a pretty hefty layer of that on my hairline. I know there's some down my forehead. I wouldn't look crazy, but don't get crazy. Put it on your hairline. Okay, we need this wig cap to stay down. So right here you can see me, I'm about to take my blow dryer and just blow dry it on cool. This is a, I don't know what this blow dryer is from, I have to check, but I'm pretty sure I got it off Amazon. I think it's like either, it's probably Revlon. I think I'm reading that right. I think it's Revlon, but I got it off Amazon, but we're just going to blow dry this hairspray on cool. After that's dried enough, you want to go ahead and go in with a second layer just to be safe. I'm over here fanning it. <laughs> but you want to just go in with a second layer just to be safe. I'm just like kind of smoothing it back with my fingers so it don't run down my face. Don't get, cause look, it will drip into your eyes and that ain't, that ain't it. It burns, but we're going to take our blow dryer again and we just going to blow dry it on cool till it's dry. Okay guys, so right here we're about to start cutting the cap. Now, for the cap, as you can see, you wanna get it as close to your hairline as possible or like however much you like wherever you want to put your wig at like, like that's how much you should cut off so you can see me cutting mine pretty close I didn't want my wig like too far down on my forehead my forehead's kind of big but I didn't want it <laughs> too far down but you know so we're just cutting that real close to the hairline
And here I'm just showing the wig. If I did not say it already, I got this wig from Eunice Hair or Eunice Hair, however you want to say it. And it's in 16 inches. It's just Brazilian body wave, something simple. It's a frontal lace. And here I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me face finish powder just to make the wig cap like closer to my skin tone because obviously the wig cap is what you're gonna you you might see it not not you won't see it too much but you'll see it under the wig so you just want to get that as close to your skin tone as possible so any face powder that you use would do How many of y'all make these ugly faces when y'all are doing y'all hair? I know it just can't be me. But right here, um, I sprayed some water on the hair and I'm just trying to get the hairs, like the flyaways back and out of the way so I can see what I'm working with. And this frontal, I plucked it a little bit. I don't pluck, I don't like to pluck it too much because it's gonna naturally shed of like shed over time, so I don't want to be looking like I'm it's balding. So I just pluck lightly, and right here you can see me taking a white eyeliner and just tracing my hairline, just so I have a guideline of where to put the glue. And you can just take any white eyeliner, or you can skip this step completely, but I find it useful. Okay guys, right here you can see me just cutting the ear tabs off. Do not skip this step. This is how you're gonna be able to put your hair behind your ear. Okay guys, so next what I'm about to do is just cut the lace in like some sections that I'm gonna work in. So I cut in the middle and then I cut in like between like where the ear is and the, the middle. So it's like four flaps, did three cuts. And I'm just pulling it back. And then right here, you can see me just putting my hair back into a ponytail. So just make it easier for me to see what I'm working with. Okay, I know I said that to not, I mean that the eyeliner trick was useful, but as you can see, you can't see the eyeliner. You can see it in some spots, but like, you can't really see it. I don't know, maybe, I'll, I don't know. I don't know, I mean, maybe my eyeliner just wasn't good enough. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm taking my ghost bond glue which I got off of Amazon. I've been using this glue ever since I started gluing any kind of lace down. And it works for me, so this is what I use. And you can barely see, wow. Um, I can tell you that one mistake I made during this install is I really kind of went crazy on that glue like you can see how thick that is <laughs> like look how big oh my god y'all don't do this use a lighter use less than that like don't go ham on the glue so i'm just smoothing it out as you can see i took well i used a lot of glue so i need just smoothing out as best as i can so it's just not it's just so thick and i'm only working with the middle section right now i prefer to work in like sections because it's just much easier that way rather than putting glue on the whole hairline and then trying to put the lace on so i just start with the middle first and then i'll work to the sides right here you can see, see me blow drying it on cool and this is important to do not use 
hot air for this glue it's not going to it's not going to dry correctly you need to use cool air you don't even have to use a blow dryer you can just fan it with a like a piece of paper envelope anything and you, what you want to do is you want to dry it until it's like semi clear it doesn't have to be all the way clear just semi clear And then you want to take your ghost bond glue or whatever glue you're going to use again and do a second layer now this time i went a little lighter but i probably could have just used less than that and then smooth it out like so And what you can see me doing here is just pulling the lace down onto the glue. You can't even see what I'm doing. Like, wow, Destiny. Y'all, I, I wear glasses and I can't see. So I'm pretty sure that's why I'm this close to the camera. Not to the camera, Jesus, to the mirror. But once I switch to like one of the sides, you'll be able to see a little bit better. But it's really not all that hard. I'm really just pressing my fingers onto the lace to like make it adhere to the glue. And then here I'm just taking my rat tail comb and I'm just like using that as well to push the lace into the glue. Okay, moving on to this side. Wow, that is a lot of glue, but I'm spreading it out, y'all. Y'all can't even see it, wow, okay. I'm spreading it out just like I did before with the middle part. So pretty much, you can just see, I'm just doing the same thing.
Okay, here you can see a little better of how I'm pressing the lace into the into the glue. And I'm just using my comb. The, the white stuff that you see is from the eyeliner, which is probably why I said that you probably don't even need to use that. I'm pretty sure I just, I did it wrong. See, so, you know, this lace thing is trial and error. I'm just spraying some water just to get the flyaways away so I can see better. But this lace thing is really trial and error, guys. So I'm just continuing to blow dry that a little bit more because a little bit of that glue over there was still white. You know what it's probably for or why that's like that? Because I used too much. But it's gonna come together in the end, I promise. You know, we looking a little rough right now, but we're gonna finish strong. Okay, now guys, I'm just gonna take that got to be spray again. And this is gonna help your glue adhere a little bit better as well. Like some people don't take this extra step, but I like to, it just helps me. So I just spray a light little layer of the spray on top of where the glue is and just on top of the lace. And then we're gonna take this wrap paper. I think that's what it's called. And then I'm just going to tie it down.
y'all could see i couldn't make up my mind about what i wanted to do but right here actually using this water and doing this method right here helped my middle part lay flatter and this scarf i just got from probably like walmart or something and it's just it's just like a ponytail scarf and you know i'm just making sure it's like flat and like tight so my lace could like really really adhere after about 10 or 15 minutes i'm taking this scarf off because at this point my head was hurting scarf was way too tight but you know what it's worth it because in the end it's gonna come together so I'm just taking it off and I'm just looking at my um, wax paper to see if it's like still wet or anything so like maybe I need to blow dry it which I think I do and yep here we go here go to blow dryer I'm about to blow dry it a little bit more until it's dry or just to help it dry a little bit quicker all right guys so right here i'm just about to curl my hair i ain't show y'all too much of this i'm just wanted to throw this in here just so y'all could see me curl my hair a little bit Here I am with that middle section of lace already cut off and we looking a little bit rough that lace looking a little bit light and let me tell you why I instead of getting a medium brown lace I got transparent lace like I don't know honestly I don't know know too much about like the different kind of lace like I know there's like a HD lace and a um, a transparent which I thought this was supposed to be like it's it's supposed to be skin like okay like what is this about but that's what I got so me trying to be smart but you know what we're gonna fix it and right now you can just see me cutting in zigzags cutting the lace in zigzags and the important part about cut it in zigzag is just so it could better hide like the that line of demarcation but clearly we see my lace my lace is completely clocked a bowl but when I tell you by the grace of God okay we're gonna get through this Here you can just see me making sure that I cut it close enough and then now I'm just about to just get that extra glue off that that doesn't need to be there I'm just looking at it making sure it's right it's not but you know it's okay we're just gonna get the little extra pieces of glue off make sure you don't skip that step there okay
and look at that I'm back with some swoop swoops okay we back with edges honey I did not include this part but I can make a separate video about how I do my edges on my wigs but honestly I'm, I'm gonna just be honest I did the the edge well for one I like baby hairs on a wig okay I'm not against baby hairs on a wig but honestly my lace was clocky and I just needed to just hide that so that's a quick fix you don't have to do baby hairs if you want if you don't want to but right there I just sprayed some more got to be spray on top of that one to lay help lay the baby hairs so they stay in place as well as just secure that wig just a little bit more so we're tying it down with the wax I said I almost said wax paper the what is it even called wrap paper Jesus I'm tying it down with the wrap paper and yeah oh glasses crooked oh well they're not even on my ears why do I even have them on We're just going to dry that a little bit more, until, just until it's dry. Okay, honey. All right, here we go. We are cutting this wax paper. Ah, why do I keep saying wax paper? This wrap paper off, guys. And we're looking a little better. Like, use just using the Got To Be Free Spray helps it look just a little bit more natural. But the most part, the part that's going to help the most is coming up. Okay, this is it, guys. I'm taking that same face powder. Actually, I think that one's, I think that, that one's my, that one might be my contour powder. I don't know. But I just need something a little darker to help this lace just match my skin a little better so what i'm doing is just pressing into the powder and then just pressing it into my lace a little bit i'm not trying to go overboard it, it might look like i'm going overboard but i'm really not but as you can see it's helping and y'all at this point i was telling myself i'm gonna do a little few little poses zhuzh up my curls a little bit you know that lace was popping okay honey popping ton period y'all i didn't think i was gonna be uploading this video but i think it's okay for y'all to see me in shambles literally in shambles y'all y'all see me feeling myself i really did that like this started off okay now I'm not gonna say it started off bad, but like in the mist, we we didn't think it was gonna work. But God, okay, He will bring you through. I need. Do you see the lace? What lace? It's non-existent at this point. Okay, and you know, guys, thank you for watching my video. We are out. See ya. Bye.